Okay, the best way to start this question is once again to sketch our PV plot. Now we're told that it's an adiabatic compression, so it's going to go from some initial state to some final state with a smaller volume along an adiabatic type curve. So up like that. Okay, we're told its initial pressure is 1.2 atmospheres and its initial volume is 0 0.200 meters cubed. Its final pressure is 2.4 atmospheres and we're not told its final volume. We are told that it's adiabatic which means that Q is equal to zero. We're also told that it's diatomic and that the particles are rotating but not vibrating which tells us F is equal to phi. The three translational degrees of freedom plus the two rotational ones. And as it's adiabatic, we know that it obeys the equation PV to the gamma is equal to constant. And what we're asked to find is the work. We're actually found, asked to find the work by the gas. Usually we're asked to find the work on the gas. So what we need to do is find this area somehow. Unfortunately, this question is actually quite hard. So to start with, we need to calculate what gamma is. Gamma is equal to Cp on Cv, which is F plus 2 on 2R over F on 2R, cancelling out all the common factors. We've got F plus 2 on F, which in this case is 5 plus 2, 7 over 5, which is 1.4. So we can use this now to find the final volume as we've got the initial and pressure and volume and the final pressure. So we've got P initial V initial to the 1.4 is equal to P final V final to the 1.4. We can keep our pressures in atmospheres as long as we do it for both of them. So this is 1.2 times 0 0.200 to the 1.4 is equal to 2.4 times V final to the 1.4. Okay, we can solve this. Divide 2.4 by 1.2 and we end up with 2. And then we can write 1.4 log 0 0.200 is equal to log 2 plus log 1.4 log VF. These are just numbers. You can work out what they are on your calculator and then divide by 1.4 and we end up with log VF is equal to minus 2.10 and so VF is equal to E to the minus 2.10 which is equal to 0 0.122 meters cubed. Let's just check it's reasonable. This is a compression so it should be smaller than this one. So 0 0.122 meters cubed looks very reasonable on that plot there. Now to work out the work we need to work out this area. Okay now unfortunately we really do have to do this integral. So the work is equal to minus the integral from the initial velocity to from the initial volume to the final volume of p dot dv. We need to substitute in for this p so we can rearrange this to give us p is equal to the constant times v to the minus gamma. dv, we've still got our dv, so that's our p. Okay, now we want to integrate this. The constant's just a constant, so it can go out the front. When we integrate this, we end up with v to the minus gamma plus 1 over minus gamma plus 1. Oh, we dropped our negative sign there, so we need to put that back. And that's at vf and vi. Okay, now to evaluate this, we need to work out what this constant is. So this constant's up here. We can use the initial state. So the constant is equal to pi vi to the 1.4. pi is 1.2 times 1.01 times 10 to the 5. vi is 0 0.200 and that's to the power of 1.4. Solving that on the calculator, we end up with 12,733. If you want to include units, then it will be pascals and meters cubed to the 1.4, so meters to the 
4.2. Okay, so now let's substitute everything in here. We've got, let's get rid of that negative sign so we can make that positive. This is positive and that's negative then. So we've got 1, 12,733 times this is V final, which is 0 0.122 to the 1 minus 1.4. So that's to the minus 0 0.4 over 1.4 minus 1, so over 0 0.4. And then with the, we substitute in the initial volume, so that's 0 0.200 to the minus 0 0.4 over 0 0.4. Solving that on the calculator, we end up with 13,249. So that's equal to 13.2 kilojoules. That's the work done on gas. which means that the work done by the gas is minus 13.2 kilojoules done by gas. Okay, and that's the answer to this question, and that's the end of the lecture.